By focusing on hope for recovery, we do not imply that it will be an easy ride. Anorexia takes a toll on the whole family. In her book, Brave Girl Eating, Harriet Brown explained it like this. When anorexia chose my child, it chose our family. It called into question many of our deeply held beliefs and traditions. It challenged our assumptions, our way of being with one another. When it built walls between us, we put in doorways. When it let grief into our house, we opened every window and shooed it out. When it called us names, jailer, torturer, liar, we answered, mother, father, sister. Our child was the one diagnosed with anorexia, but it happened to all of us. Be as gentle to yourself and other family members as you possibly can. This is hard for everyone. We love this essay by a young girl who has completely recovered from anorexia. I nearly died my freshman year, and parts of me did. Brutally murdered by that she-monster some label anorexia. I call her despair. I vividly remember the lifeless feeling. I remember the question, what do you want to do with your life? And having no idea how to answer. Want, desire, hope were foreign to me. Life was simply the misery I was forced to survive. It was a geometric line without depth or width or time. I had lost sight and hope of happiness in one blow. It took months, years of excruciating healing, but I eventually became capable of hope again. And so I began to see if I could trust myself enough to be myself. Trusting requires faith. Faith requires hope, and hope is a hypothesis. My hypothesis was that maybe someday I could be happy again. But to determine the truth of that statement, I had to experiment. I had to leave the comfort of nothingness or being nobody. I had to run away from the monster that had taken my life away, the monster that had become me. I had to destroy a part of myself, and so I ventured to regain my happiness. The experiment succeeded, and at long last, I was filled. I found myself. I was emancipated. I discovered a love for learning behind my desire for good grades. I discovered I yearned for friends and not just people to sit next to. I learned that happiness is not so easy as smiling and listening not so easy as talking. But above all, overcoming anorexia taught me that I never want to do her battle again. I fear despair and I do everything in my power to continue hoping and hypothesizing. I hope to laugh along the way of the rest of my life because life is so good. Um, our experience is, uh, at least in my mind, is fading somewhat uh, three or four years after. My daughter's done great. Uh, it was a really hard struggle for what seemed like a really long time. It was very dark, uh, but she, I feel, has fully recovered. This is a hard journey, I'm not gonna lie, but there's a lot of good things that came out of her. For one thing, our daughter had four extremely healthy children and four healthy pregnancies, and we're so thankful for that. And she's a highly functioning member of society who wants to give back. I began to notice more of the, of the change in her thoughts and really her her desire to, to change and displace the eating disorder from its place in her life. Her health is restored and her personality has returned and she is back to her happy and healthy self. Right now, as she's recovered, it's so fun to talk with her. We keep saying, this is our daughter, she's back. Um, it really was, we lost her for six years. And now, slowly, she's coming back to who she is. Life is good. Having a child with an eating disorder can be overwhelming to anyone. It certainly was overwhelming for us. As you continue to be engaged in their recovery, you can understand that recovery really is possible. Continue to make the effort.